we won. After two years of writing bid documents, we've finally been given the chance to do a load of work. Um, right. For, uh, <coughs> yes, um, for those of you who haven't been following, this is what Wikimania is, um, and what, specifically what we're trying to run. Um, it's a three-day conference with two days of proceeding uh, in the summer next uh, it's August next year. And uh, in a ch departure from previous years, um, we are adding two public outreach tracks, which will be designed for people who don't know very much about Wik Wikimedia. Um, we expect to get 2,000 Wikimedians over the, over the three days, and then probably another 2,000 people coming each day to, for, these, for these public tracks. Um, and it'll be the Barbican Center, which is, well, who's been, who's been to the Barbican Center, actually? Yeah, OK, so cool. It's pretty big. And it's a nice place um, with lots and lots of facilities, and you know. um, and yeah, to attract the public, we'll have some bigger, some relatively, some very relatively bigger, famous people, but most of them will be considered Wikimedians anyway. Uh, so you know, I think in some sense there's nothing to be worried about there. Um, and finally, yeah, we'll have a whole bunch of events uh, afterwards. In the evenings, there'll be uh, we're looking at doing a big event on the Tate Modern, um, a big event on the Barbican. <laughs> Thanks to Saad, who put that together. No, um, possibly no, something Saad. Possibly. <laughs> Saad should be up here as well. He's really been part of the team. And uh, possibly something in the Science Museum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so, this microphone isn't working. Um, Why aren't we doing regular Wikimania? Something that we've seen over and over again at events and just in general discussion in the time that we've been involved in this movement is people are worried about editors and people are worried about diversity and outreach in general. There's this sort of constant scratching of heads and thinking, uh-oh, you know, where are all the editors going to come from? It's gradually declining. People are getting older and they're not being replaced. So we thought, let's, let's face this head on with the event we're running. You know, an event is a great place to do outreach. Um, yeah, yes, this is, a, this is a key strategic goal that's identified by WF. Um, and broadly speaking, we see falls into two parts. One is simply awareness. A lot of people don't know that editors exist, and they don't know that there's a community, and they don't know, you know that, that actually people make this magic website. They're just happy to use it. And organizing this big event will help show that there are really people doing this. Yeah. And the second part is participation. So a lot of people vaguely know about it, but haven't really been involved, or you know, haven't really taken the time, or you know, just need a little push to get properly involved. And you know, realizing that there's a lot more to do than just writing down facts on a web page. And until you, you know, until you see the people, it's, it can be hard to realize that. I think also one of the biggest things that you know, we have to leverage some of the strengths of London. And the great strength about London is that it's a media hub, you know, it's a financial hub. Um, and you know, we have the opportunity to do some fantastic levels of fundraising here for a substantially larger event than what we've managed to do in previous years. Um, and because of you know, the outreach and the PR element that, that London brings, um, this, is a, this can be a substantially bigger conference. And we have to leverage that. So, so, are you saying that existing Wikimanias, which I've never been to, that they don't do anything like that? Um, this outreach stuff? No, t traditionally it's been quite an internal focus. Well, I mean, always, always in any local area, you know, you, you get a full spectrum of people who know more and less about Wikimedia. But um, yeah, traditionally the focus hasn't specifically been on outreach. Whereas we, we chose, you know, literally say this is a, the theme of this conference is outreach, and see where that takes us. Um, and we'll talk about that. Yeah. Right. So yeah, specifically, what are we trying to do here? Um, get a lot of new editors. Get a lot of new volunteers. Get a lot of new members. Um, yeah. Um, we're particularly uh, us personally. We're particularly interested in EduWiki, and see you know what, what we can get to do you know to happen with that in terms of you know putting it as, raising the agenda of that sort of in the in the wider consciousness through through this through this um, uh, conference. Um, and then, yeah, not just not just locally, but internationally. You know, which we're working a big part on legacy. We're going to try and have really nicely produced videos, which and again, a whole bunch of them, which specifically have an outreach component. Yeah, and what we'll be doing is, you know, programming these outreach tracks by saying specifically, you know, come and uh, present a submission which is designed for outreach. Come and tell people, you know, who don't know anything about me about the things that you're doing, and explain it to them in a way that is, you know, they can understand. And then we'll produce good videos of these and put them out and use you know, the reach of organisations like the BBC to make sure they're well seen. Um, finally, a lot of interesting things are happening uh, in Wikimedia this year. You know, the visual editor is a massive thing. 
and uh, you know, a lot of people are actually quite worried about how much it may in increase participation. But it's a chance for a lot of other people to come and have a look at you know, what, what's happened in the past few years. It's, it's a big change in terms of usability, especially for, you know, for the editor side of things. You know, what with, yeah, here's a visual editor, notifications of flow. I mean, Wikimedia is practically becoming Facebook now, right? Except instead of friends, you have topics, which is, which is pretty exciting, I think. And, you know, it's a good chance to sort of launch these things in some sense with a big international conference. Yeah. Just to add to that point, in terms of, you know, Edgy Wiki is a very good example of this. Um, because of the connections that, you know, we have as a community, we are able to leverage that into, you know, we can have school children from the local area, we have high school professors, we have university lecturers, all the way up to senior government. Um, so we have David Cameron coming, we have Boris Johnson coming. You know, this is a very good opportunity to actually talk to these politicians and talk to people in power and actually say, you know, these are the opportunities which Wikipedia provides in, in education. And that's just one very small project within, obviously, a whole portfolio. And I stress with these people, we're not flying them in so they can come and talk to the Wikimedians. We're flying them in so we can go and talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> people seem kind of, well, you know, what does David Cameron have to say about Wikimedia? Nothing, but he has a lot to listen to. <laughs> I think the other key point also on this slide is that um, we're also partnering with a lot of similar free culture organizations, so the EFF, the ODI, um, Students for Free Culture, these kind of organizations. And the objective behind this is not just to promote the wiki projects, but promote the concepts behind them. So, you know, obviously Wikidata being a flagship project, we want to promote open data along with that. Are you proposing to, <coughs> to invite some of the, um, the schools around London? Yeah. To bring, bring students in? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, we're working with um, Hackney Council pretty closely on that, which is where the marketing is based. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah. it'd be worth you know, reaching out you know, to the home counties as well to drag in some, some of the students. Um, um, kids. But, yeah, well, indeed, but even college. Yeah. <laughs> So um, what are we working on right now, and what do we need from you guys? Um, most of right now we're working on raising all the money that we need to pay for this thing, and it's, it's a considerable amount. But this has been really interesting, it had lots of interesting side effects, um, because sponsors come to us and say, who comes? And so, so far we've seen, no one's really well answered this question, partly because they don't know what sponsors want to hear, but partly because you know, people don't know that much about the demographic of the Wikimedians. You know, the answer to people tend to get is, well, the Wikimedians come, which isn't an answer at all. Um, so we did a bunch of thinking and talking to people. And these are the, um, these are the eight communities which you know, uh, we think comprise primarily of Wikimedians, at least in terms of things that are named. And, and I think largely they shouldn't come as a big surprise, um, hopefully. Um, and that we may have missed some often. If you can think of any others that we should, we should put on there, please come and suggest. But uh, in terms of the outreach portion, um, you know, it's not just any old public, right? We want relevant public who actually have something to offer back and may become good volunteers rather than just people who show up and say, cool website, walk off again. Um, so what we plan to do is recruit um, community liaisons for each one who are going to figure out what's going on in these communities and the main area of activities and try and um, organize activities involving them, you know, Wikimedian activities involving them in the upcoming year, and invite them to create, you know, present content at the conference, um, you know, to really like bridge with these. I mean, I think a lot of people will be in both communities anyway, but the idea is if we find people in these ones who don't self-identify as Wikimedians, they're people we should try and, try and speak to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if anyone, if anyone can think of adding to this list, or anyone who wants to work with us to, to, with any of these communities and actually help us build these, you know, we we'll probably be um, talking to a bunch of people, building a bunch of relationships, and um, organizing some events over the course of this year. That would be really interesting. The second thing is, the Barbican isn't just a venue. Um, you know, they're a large, eminent uh, cultural organization in their own right. And um, they've been really excited by the event that we want to run here. Um, and when we, you know, really want to support us and get and get involved with what we're doing, and you know, they've said, okay, you know, here are some things we're doing. Come and suggest some ways we can we can get involved with you. And we don't really understand Wikimedia at all, frankly, but we're really excited, um, and you know, that you're interested in our venue. And I think um, 
getting involved in these things will help us run a much better, much better event there. You know, they'll understand us better. And, you know, every event is site specific, right? You know, we have the bulk of the active Wikimedia, Wikimedia community, well, a large chunk of the active Wikimedia community coming and sitting in one place for, for five days. And, um, you know, if there's something real that they're actually coming to this location for, that would be great. And this will really help build a sort of lasting legacy, um, you know, from this conference. Um, Barbican has a lot of resources and a lot of its own sort of programs. And if we can secretly make those Wikimedian programs, or at least, you know, in the parts that, we, that we'd like, you know, that would be a big win, I think. You know, a really obvious one is their archive. We can go and say, you know, come and open your archive. You know, they literally have no thinking. But they, they, they don't even hardly can conceive of that idea right now, because they've never heard of it. <coughs> but they're in the very, very early stage, where it's like, you know, we have all this stuff sitting in the basement, or, you know, sitting on these hard disks, and we don't know what to do with it. And, yeah, I mean, effectively, what they're calling for is a Wikimedia regiment, which I think I will probably become this year, um, and then try and facilitate the things they're doing here. But it's not just their archive, it's also all kinds of events they want to run, and, the, you know, outreach to school children that they already are just trying to figure out what to do with. So, you know, I think that's a big opportunity as well. Yeah, and next summer there's a large digital uh, cultural festival, which the Barbican is running, which is going to span about two months. Um, and it's more than likely that Wikimania will actually fall within that mandate. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting stuff in terms of cross-pollination that we could do. Um, in particular, there's, well, I mean, there's the Kirk Gallery. The, the, uh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess, you know, a really obvious one is, yeah, they're, they're um, commissioning a big gallery yeah. exhibition, and we could say, you know, Specifically commission on some Wikimedia-based art. Yeah. And then that will go, that will go, and that will sit there for, um, you know, six months, and they will tour internationally. And it can be about anything, you know, the community yeah. comes up with an idea for it to be about, and it will be funded by them and promoted by them. You know, they have an enormous international reach. And you know, also beside that, for example, in that same thing, you know, we could get the whole thing qrp would up or something like that, um, you know, just as a starter. The last project that went on tour lasted for 10 years. That went to it was still going. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. still going. Um, so this is a very good opportunity in terms of, again, lasting legacy. Um, I think the other point to make here is that this is just this is a very abridged list. Uh, we have a list of about 30, 40 different things yeah. uh, which the Barbican is interested in doing. And not just the Barbican, but the City of London Corporation, which owns the Barbican. Um, they have substantial archives throughout the city, they own multiple venues, multiple glam institutes, um, and they're very keen to have a much more prolonged engagement um, with, with WMUK. Um, and you know, through, through building these relationships specifically for this conference, you know, what we really hope to achieve is, is getting these, you know, these lasting relationships, both with the venue but also with the sponsors. And a way to look at this is you know, the spotlight of the, um, of the conference that we're running next year is a really good way to activate um, volunteer activity on you know on these things because because it's not just you know a project that's going you know that, that has no obvious end point it's you know, really building towards something very visible in the space where this is happening yeah. any questions when is it exactly uh, August August. sorry should have opened that thoughts criticisms complaints <coughs> ideas oh, I want to work on that I used to work in an archive at a university and at a government department, so I'd like to, uh, to get involved in the, cool. what you're doing at the Barbican. Great. So that has vast potential. Great. Yeah. Um, if, if anyone is interested in any of these roles, please come talk to us. Um, what we're going to do over the next, uh, well, six months, realistically, is we're going to slowly look at uh, recruitment phases for the wider bid team. Um, right now, we just want to get past the main, the main. Uh, sorry, not the bid team. Sorry, the conference team. Um, <laughs> we want to get past the main hurdle of fundraising first before we start bringing in extra layers of management. Yes, sir. I have a question. What's that? Don't worry, it's not the same stuff. There. <laughs> um, if I was a volunteer, mm -hmm. how could I get involved with this now? Okay, which? Okay, so with the um, with the community layers on part. Any, any part of it, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. With the community liaison part, yeah. you come to us and say, this is the community I'm interested to liaise with. And we'd say, you know, what have you done in this area in Wikimedia? What have you done in this area in, in that community? You know, who, who are the important influences in, in that community you know? And go, and go and become friends with them. Go and broach the subject of things that we could do together. And then think about some way that could create interesting content for the conference. Um, for the Barbican part, and this is something I think we can all get involved in right now, is list really bold ideas of what could be done with this venue slash institution. Um, and then we'll think about who would actually want to do them. But at this stage, it's just, you know, we could go back to them and say, here are the really exciting ones to do. Maybe they'll even you know, fund it or something. Um, and certainly facilitate. Uh, on the, um, the Wikimedia 2014 uh, website, 
uh, there's a list, full list of all the Barbican initiatives which they've suggested to yeah, us. Yeah, there's, there's, it's a big list. Yeah. And then it's really exciting because they're really at a very early stage. Um, they, they've sort of realized, oh, we're a fusty old arts, in, arts institution and we want to modernize and be part of Tech City and all this new, exciting, cool stuff that we don't understand at all because our entire board of directors is you know, very, very traditional. Um, and you know, they're, they're really yeah, just looking for some direction here. And I think you know, we're a great organization to provide them. Mr. Davis. Okay, one, one of the things that we're thinking of doing at the bar is, is in doing some editors on there and some training sessions straight away. So that's another way of volunteers getting involved, particularly people who've been through training trainers. And that would be good. But a question to you. you we failed the year before, possibly because we weren't Hong Kong, I don't know. But the two big criticisms were the cost of getting to London and being here and the cost of accommodation in London. Yep. How did you get around those this time? Um, essentially, it's hard to get to Arusha. <laughs> <laughs> um, essentially, through through um, partners. The people here have got no idea of the background. Yeah, they? sure, sure. Um, so fundamentally, uh, we're working with London and Partners, which is um, basically a business advocacy group in London. Um, their mandate is to basically help exactly this kind of event come to yeah, London. Bring large conferences to London. You know, they help with the Olympic bid, for example. Yeah. Um, and. You know, they, they know every single hotel room in London and you know, they have preferred partners with airlines and you know, they can speed up visas and so we basically went to them and said so we're holding this and they said, there's a pack. Um, you know, and then we make it really easy for this kind of thing to happen because that's what we're here for. Yeah. And London's really, really keen to host this kind of thing. Yeah. A bit more specific, come on. Um, okay, discounted Oyster card, discounted travel, uh, block booking of hotels to, to again reduce rates. Um, Actually, you know, London is relatively cheap to fly to if you look at people coming from all over the world. Certainly compared to Arusha. <laughs> student, student accommodation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, we're working with King's College um, and potentially UCL as well for like for cheaper accommodation. Um, but you know, this will be a point. For the outreach uh, project you're doing, have you spoken to the um, Wikimedia 2011 people in, in Haifa? They had a whole thread um, of people with language outreach that they were doing in the central building. Yeah. Uh, which sounds they're quite similar to what you're doing, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, and I was actually in Haifa and I was fairly aware that this was going on in the central building. But, um, We, we've spoken to okay. Joe off at length. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. All right, okay, yeah, that's interesting. We'll, we'll try to talk about it. Start again. How are people going to find out about this? Ah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, um, three different ways, I guess. Um, we, we have a substantial amount of partners for the bid. Many of them aren't actually publicly listed. Um, these range from mainstream media, so for instance, The Guardian, The Times, Wild um, Magazine, yeah, to, 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 to technology journals, but also more specifically the partners that we've already mentioned in terms of the Electronic Frontier Foundation, you know, Students for Free Culture, these kind of organizations which are, as Ed says, well, basically organizations which are, represent these groups yes, are the exactly. organizations that we're going to partner with and target yeah. uh, to promote this. Not to mention that the Barbican has substantial PR channels on the phone. Yeah, it's the largest arts in Europe. Um, but you know, really, like the people we want to come are these people. Uh, I think you know, primarily because I think they will have the most to offer, and you know, and then really be excited by what they see if they don't know about it already. And certainly, you know, the changes that have happened in the last year and so on. Like Wikidata didn't exist a year ago. And that's that's an exciting thing to happen. I think the point that people should know is people will come to this, yeah. like non-Wikimedia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think it's something we've been surprised. I guess you know, there's a kind of surprise is. You know, we're both we're both in London and we're both involved in the tech scene and large conferences are, are, are you know in this kind of area are really pretty common. You know, there's several a year and then many, many slightly smaller events all year. So you know attendance isn't really something we've been so worried about. And I think you know for people who are putting this on in you know, not a major hub like London, that you know that would be a concern. But it's really not what we have at all. Yeah. Especially when the average tech conference costs fifteen hundred pounds to attend. Yeah. And they sell out. Or is it the web, right? Yeah. How many two grand? Two grand to ten, and how many people came? Two and a half thousand. A lot more, two and a half thousand. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be 50 pounds or something like that. Um, for, you know, for, for the public. 
attendance isn't a concern. Harry. Harry. <laughs> How do you strike a balance then between it being the annual conference of the Wikimedia movement and it being this massive outreach thing for non-Wikipedians, sure. and how do you get the two to overlap and interact? Um, okay, we're doing a lot of that in um, the design of the venue specifically. We have um, the venue, roughly speaking, divides into upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Technical terms. And uh, yeah, it, it is actually that. Um, there's a conference center on the, on, the, on the fourth floor, which has a bunch of breakout spaces, and a bunch of conference rooms, and a bunch of auditoriums, and this will be primarily for the community, for the community tracks. Um, in the foyer, there's a very large auditorium which seats 2,000 people, and then the second auditorium which seats 1,000 people, and then a large sort of exhibition space where we'll have exhibitions and workshops, and this will be primarily for the, uh, for the, for the public. So you know, there's a very natural kind of break there. Yes? Um, are you going to get volunteers and entities and stuff to like patrol the community area and talk to people and stuff? Because I'm sure people will be coming with like questions. Because they're troll. Troll. The community area. You mean the public area? Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure that will happen anyway. But people we'll, sat like desks at even to yeah. come and ask me questions. Yes, yes, definitely. Can, yeah. And we'll be, you know, we'll be running a, a, a schedule, a program of work. Okay. We will ask the community to supply a program of workshops, potentially, you know, multiple tracks of workshops that, that go on in that in that area all the time. You know, we really don't want it to seem like they're segregated, yeah. you know, in the sense that they don't cross-pollinate. It's more just organized in such a way that the correct interactions happen in the way they ought to. But if you do want people to troll the community, then... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a call. <laughs> that's, that's what you seem to be thinking. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yep.